The thought that keeps running through my head is, look at this thing we built. Last summer, we were sitting on our couches watching the men play. At the beginning of this, I asked you, why do you play? And it makes me think about the women who came before us, who never had this. And thank you all for buying in. Just really humbled and honored to be amongst all of you. Such a strong group of women who are role models who have taken this sport to the next level. If you had asked me to imagine what professional volleyball could look like in the United States, in my wildest dreams, I could not have described this. Space to be free, to be supported, to be heard and valued. And with that said, representation is extremely important. Being a black and Puerto Rican woman who is also part of the LGBTQ plus community. It is extremely important to be up here and be a role model for, for a younger generation, so. Continue to play so the people below you have the opportunity to do this and have their life changed the way we all did. Because the question has never been, are we good enough? Are we interesting enough? Are we valuable enough? The question has always been, will you invest in us? Will you make space for us? Will you allow us the opportunities to be the heroes of our own stories? to be the heroes in the eyes of the next generation coming up. Because we're ready. We have been ready. I hope that there comes a time that none of us are playing here. I hope there's a future version of this league that is filled with women who are living out the dream that we planted this last five weeks. And that we can come back and look in that book and see our names and see all of the names that came after us and say, look at this thing we built. Athletes Unlimited, every moment counts. We are coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada, home of Athletes Unlimited Arena at the Sports Center here in Las Vegas. We've got Team Sims and Team Carrington set to tip off our double header. With that, we welcome you inside the press box. We saw more than 400 points scored yesterday in the double header. So we have turned to our ultimate bucket getter, the <laughs> Hall of Famer, Cheryl Swoops. I'm Cindy Brunson, and we're so very glad to have you along the way. Cheryl, when you look at this matchup, which team needs this victory more? Well, you have Team Carrington, who's looking to finish the week out 3-0. Mm. And then on the other side, you have Team Sims, who's still looking to get in the W mm. column. Right. So I would say Team Sims absolutely needs this win. Woo! We're going to find out together who gets that W. Settle into that easy chair. We've got lineups and tip next. Athletes Unlimited Basketball on FS2 is sponsored by Aspiration. Welcome back to Las Vegas. We're looking forward to Team Sims against Team Carrington here at Athletes Unlimited Arena. Athletes Unlimited is so compelling because our unique individual point system is on display. Every player in our league has a running score and points are either awarded or deducted based on individual performance. But a player's biggest points boost comes from their team winning quarters and games. Player point totals accumulate over the season, so follow along with us on uh, AUSports.com. Taking a look at the top five leaderboard entering our doubleheader tonight, Natasha Cloud leading the way with more than 1,000 points. We'll see who can catch her if that is possible in today's doubleheader. Taking a look at the starting lineup, for Team Sims, there has been a change in the starting lineup. After scoring 24 points in the first half of play yesterday, Kalani Brown is a starter, Cheryl. Yeah, there's no surprise that Kalani has moved into the starting lineup. After that performance she had yesterday, if Team Sims is gonna have a chance to win this game, Kalani is gonna have to have another dominant performance. No change in the starting lineup for Team Carrington. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This team has an opportunity to sweep the week here at Athletes Unlimited. Let's bring in the third member of our broadcast team. She is the woman on the scene courtside, Key Michael. How's it going, Key? What's up, guys? I am so excited to be back. We are on the court. I've got my purple. I've got my blue on the other side. I'm ready to watch some awesome back basketball. And you guys, I love that I can literally, look how, look how close I am to the court right now. 
you are giving us visuals that are not available in any other sport, and we absolutely love it, Key. Keep it coming. We'll hit yes. you in just a bit. And with that, we are looking forward to get underway. Our officials today are Dara Robinson Ash, Amir Ibrahimi, and Simona Petronite Sandoval. Let's take a look at our captain for the team in blue. That is Odyssey Sims. She wears number 99. She is averaging 22 and a half points a game. Cheryl, what have you liked about her so far? Well, o Odyssey's a bucket. She always has been a bucket. And I think just having an opportunity to come here early on, she's, pro she's proven that, has gotten better from game one to game two. And I'm expecting Odyssey to come out and have a really good game today. Team Carrington is mic'd up for us today. It's a unique feature here at Athletes Unlimited. A player from each team agrees to wear a microphone, so we'll bring you that audio throughout the telegast. And for Team Blue, it is Kirby Burkholder wearing the microphone, so we'll be listening in on that action as we bring you this game in every way humanly possible. We are set to tip it up in the center circle. It is Isabel Harrison going up against Kalani Brown. You ready, Cheryl? I'm ready. Listen, if I'm, not that they ask me, if I'm Team Sims today, mm -hmm. my game plan going in is run, run, run. After that double overtime win, I would love to come out, test the legs of Team Carrington, and see if they can slow us down in transition. All right, we'll see if that comes to fruition. We are underway as the team in blue, Team Sims, wins the tip. Essence Carson has had a great week, averaging nearly a double-double. Brown inside, trying to split a triple team and has called for steps. So obviously they're gonna try to go inside to Kalani after that performance yesterday, she was very dominant. The difference between Team Mitchell yesterday and Team Carrington today, Team Carrington has some post players that will absolutely get in there and battle and bang with Kalani Brown. If you weren't with us yesterday, where were you? But we're glad you're here today. Uh, the double overtime victory for the team in purple, Team Carrington, as Lavender buries the nice little bucket, uh, was the highest scoring game that we've seen so far in Athletes Unlimited play. Brown trying to answer with the mid-range jumper. No, Carrington is there for the rebound. And the woman with the most assists so far takes it herself, Natasha Cloud. Just great court vision. Tasha always has her head up, always sees the floor and ready to attack. Odyssey Sims answers with the three ball, and this is how Athletes Unlimited ball has been going so far. It's just buckets of plenty and so fun to watch. Izzy Harrison rims it off, so Team Sims in the blue goes back to work. Odyssey over to Kiki Harrigan. Sims thought about the three. Great defense by Cloud. Carson inside to Brown. Kicks it over to Harrigan. Shot clock winding down. Odyssey recognizing and gets the rebound. Which is no, no surprise that Tasha Cloud is starting out defensively on Odyssey Sims. Tasha has been one of the better defenders mm -hmm. in the league, in the WNBA also in my opinion, but right. especially here in the, in the previous two games, she's been one of the better defenders and I'm looking for her to try and slow down Odyssey Sims. Because the shot didn't hit anything, there was a shot clock violation, so turnover to Team Carrington in purple. Natasha Cloud has been a walking assist, a career-high 13 assists, followed up by a career-high 15 assists as a professional last night in the double overtime victory against Team Russell. Essence Carson pulls the trigger from three, no. And here's an opportunity for Team Carrington. Nice behind the back, dish inside. Defense is there by Brown but Harrison cleans up the mess. One thing Team Carrington's gonna do, they're definitely going to continue to crash the offensive glass. When, when you have 
vets on your team, and I'm looking Team Carrington, and I, and I consider all of them vets, even mm -hmm. though they're younger. Right. They understand the game, and you can bet every single one of them, they're going to take, take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of them and going to continue to crash the offensive glass. Kiki firing from three off the mark. Team Carrington looked, looking to add to its three-point lead. Mm. Ooh. Mimi Jackson didn't get the roll. And she probably had, don't want to give her that many wide open looks. Right? She was four for six from three in their first game. And a trio of threes in game two. And we'll watch Odyssey Sims go to the free throw line for a three point play opportunity. Well, Odyssey just decided not to use that screen. She called a little horn set where you're going to bring both of your post players up high to the free throw line. And instead of going off of it, she just refused the screen and attacked right down the middle. Basket didn't want it. So the lead is still one for Team Carrington in purple. Carrington for three. Off the back iron. Opportunity for Team Sims in blue to take the lead on this possession. Mm. Nice cut to the basket by Jackson. She knows how to finish. Well, and, and that happened because Jackson just continued to move. Odyssey had her, hand, her head up and Mimi just lost track of her man. She turned her head and her man just cut back door. Natasha Cloud trying to go baseline Ooh, and tough. does. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. Jackson was right in her hip pocket. Carrington trying to swipe the ball away from Brown and his whistle for the personal foul. Same thing here, you see Jantel Lavender came to set the screen. Tasha Cloud decided to refuse to go off the screen and just attack. I don't know, might have been a little and one. <laughs> Still, without the and one, Cloud averaging 18 and a half points a game so far this week. Really the backbone of the team in purple, Team Carrington. Yeah, just, just a true leader. Point guard, understands the game, understands where her teammates should be, where they should go, where she should get the ball to. That's the type of point guard you want on your team, the type of point guard you want leading your team. Kalani Brown gets the free throws to go, and so Team Sims in blue has the lead, nine to eight, with six minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. So if you see Team Carrington on, on that particular play, they ran a ball screen, nice take, mm, nice take. But it looks like they're trying to put Kalani Brown in a lot of ball screens to see how they're going to defend it and see if she switches. She switches, Jantel's going to roll, guard's going to attack Kalani, but that time Dijanae just kept it and continued to go and finish. Brown through the double, triple team could not connect. And here comes Team Carrington. Cloud, nobody stop ball. There you go. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Sometimes that's I mean, all you can I say. Mean, I don't know what else to say, right? just I mean. She has been the so ball. silky yeah. in this first week. Just, God, just beautiful to yes. watch. It makes me super jealous of Christy Winter-Scott and Megan McPeak because they're on the call for the Washington Mystics regularly. Oh, yeah. And they get to see her live all the time. I think that's why I've gushed so much about Cloud. I just don't get to see her live, and she is so dynamic, nice as is up. Dijanae nice Carrington. Oh, you know, I think every player out here, but you know, you're talking about Cloud and on that shot, Carrington, she, she's just a bucket too. But for me, Cloud, I've watched her career over the years and mm -hmm. every single year, she adds something to her game. She's just gotten better every single year. And it's so much fun to be able to watch her play. Brown able to end a little 6-0 run for Carrington and Cloud. And the lead is down to three for Team Carrington. Baseline jumper, no good by Destiny Walker. As she is checked into the game. Nice. Kiki Harrigan, nice from three. And we're tied at 14 with a little more than four minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. Tasha Cloud surveying. Gets it inside to Harrison. Ooh. Sandwiched in a double team. <laughs> Listen, Natasha Cloud, 
has doing it all. Early on, easy layup for two. Come on back. Welcome back to Athletes Unlimited Basketball. We are courtside. I'm here with Taj Cole. You had a sick game last night. Talk to me about it. It was exciting, man. Uh, double overtime, it can't get no better. We had fun, we played hard, and I think everybody's just seen uh, how much resilience both teams have. And how are your legs feeling today? Um, I'm, I'm kind of tired, but I'm excited to finish out the week. Yeah, I saw you in the elevator last night, and we were talking about how cool it is being on one team and then the next team you got your, your friends, you got your teammates, you got your enemies, you're talking trash and then you're high-fiving. Like, what's it like playing for Athletes Unlimited? Like nothing else you've ever done. It's a family. And I know we in week one, but I truly mean that. Like I'm here two hours early just supporting my girls. So this is huge. Yeah. And I've heard some rumors in the rumor mill that you might have some things going on for your future. Like I'm excited for you. You don't have to give us the details, but like, you're, you're one of the big rising stars from this event, and that is so cool to me. I just can't thank my PEC enough. Like, I tweeted last night, I don't think they know how legendary they are. You know, yeah. this opportunity is special, and I'm going to continue to work hard, continue to listen to my vets, and the rest will take care of itself. I love that. And I love that you're here courtside, and we get to just chat to you mid-game. Like, do you ever get that in the WNBA? Just, like, have a little chat courtside to your favorite players. Well, enjoy the match, and, uh, yeah, good luck tonight. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Kia. Appreciate it. A reminder to our fans at home that in addition to being awesome, Key is British, and so that's why she keeps referring to the game in front of her as a match. It's charming. <laughs> we love it. Keep it going. Big time three ball, putting Team Sims in blue on top, 17 to 13, 17 to 14. Isabel Harrison with an answer in the post, and it's a one point game. Cheryl, you've really been impressed with Harrison this week. Yeah, I just. I, I like her game. I've always liked her game, but there's some. I think Izzy is playing the best basketball of her pro career right now. And offensively, she can get a bucket. She can post up. She can go outside. Defensively, she's everywhere on the floor. I think she's been a huge reason why Team Carrington's 2-0 right now. Carrington, triple try, no. And with under three minutes to go here in the first quarter, here comes Team Sims in blue. Odyssey kicking it over. Ball is stripped, and that's a turnover. Cloud's got her hands on it and is not going to let it go. Tasha Cloud's one of those players that's involved in almost every play on the floor, offensively and defensively. Carrington had two cracks at the bunny and couldn't get it to go. Here comes Team Sims. Burkholder connects. You know, you, you wonder if Dijanae, she shot a couple of threes, she hasn't made them. Posting up, easy little layup, she hasn't made it. You wonder if yesterday's game is playing a factor into her legs. She was huge in the second overtime. 13 of her 30 points on the day coming in that final five minutes. She shows no, us why there. Sorry. There's nothing wrong with those <laughs> legs. The three is true. You know, it was like she heard me. She was like, Swoops, are you questioning if I'm tired? My bad, D. You can trust and believe everybody involved in Athletes Unlimited Women's Professional Basketball is showing up and showing out because you are here. Listen, this Kerrigan is gets the triple to go. This has been a blessing for me, but let me just say a few words about Kiki Harrigan. Mm -hmm. Product of shout out Don Staley, South Carolina. Yep. Kiki, I watched her play in college, is one of those players that is tough. She defends, she can score. She just recently had a baby not too long ago, so it's going to take her some time to get her legs back under her, but she's come out in this game and is really being a huge factor for Team Sims. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Team Sims looking for its first win so far this week. And Team Carrington in purple looking to run the table. Odyssey Sims. And the whistle blows. It looks like Sims will head to the free throw line. Let's take a look at what they are saying in the Twitterverse. Sid Colson saying 
AU Pro Sports is everything they said they were. Natasha Cloud, this is the most fun I've had hooping in a minute. And Lexi Brown, y'all need to slide to Vegas and check this out. <laughs> Brown says it's the most fun she's had in a while. But from what I hear, there are a lot of players who've said that. I know Carrington has said it, Natasha mm -hmm. Cloud has said it, and that's coming from players who currently play in the WNBA. Huge statement by those players. Heck yeah, it's just what Athletes Unlimited is all about. There's plenty of room on the spectrum for more professional women's basketball here in the United States. This can be a complement system for the WNBA. But you know what I found is a lot of the players are excited that they get an opportunity to play with players that they're typically playing against. Right. Destiny Walker buries the triple, the second triple so far on the day for Team Carrington in purple. We're tied at 24, shot clock and game clock almost identical as the first quarter winds down. Burkholder puts it on the deck, and she gets it to go. Nice little floater by Burkholder. And with time winding down, Team Carrington looking to tie or take the lead. And an offensive foul is called on Isabel Harrison as Burkholder stood her ground. And she read that play the whole way. Nice job, and instead of coming out on her man on the perimeter, she was exactly where she's supposed to be in help side. Izzy cuts to the lane, she's right there in position to take the charge. Takara Ross comes in for Team Carrington, and that is how the first quarter will end. Team Sims in a team that it has to have is in the lead of 26 to 24. Harrigan feeling it from long range. You can't leave her that wide open. Woo! My cause is 68 Hours of Hunger. I'm playing for Pan Can, Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. I chose King Wolf Animal Sanctuary. The L Train Memorial. One Love Foundation. Shaquille O'Neal Foundation. Gigi's Playhouse. My athlete's cause is Planned Parenthood. Lone Survivor Foundation. Athletes for Justice. I'm playing for the Lupus Foundation. Athlete Causes allows athletes to play their season in part for the benefit of the nonprofit organization of their choice. At the end of the season, the Give Lively Foundation will make a grant equal to 50% of the athlete's end of season bonus to their nonprofit partner. Just another great element of Athletes Unlimited Pro Women's Basketball. Cheryl Swoops, Cindy Brunson with you as we start quarter number two. Team Carrington looking to tie or take the lead on this possession. Long three is blocked by Odyssey Sims as Carter was denied. Long ball goes out of bounds and will stay with Team Sims in blue. Well, if I don't know much, I know these athletes are competitive. So when you ask at the top of the show, who needs this game? Mm -hmm. I'm sure Odyssey Sims came out, being the captain of the team, talking to her teammates saying, listen, we haven't won a game. We're not going to end week one without a win. I think they're trying to respond. Becca Juan Taylor off the mark there. And so Team Carrington in purple with an opportunity to again tie or take the lead on this possession. Takara Ross whistled for steps. <laughs> Well, if you notice, Team Carrington, they have three players who play, played a little yesterday, mm -hmm. but the fact that they're subbing so early, I mean, I can only imagine how tired their legs must be, their bodies must be after a double overtime yeah, yesterday. Yeah, 50 minutes of basketball, 110 points scored. Cindy, every single team yesterday scored over 100 points. I know, 425 points total. When I looked at the numbers, when I got back to the crazy. hotel last night, my head exploded partially. It was unbelievable. 
And it's not like defense isn't being played. Like right. that block by Essence, every bucket that was put up yesterday was earned. You know, typically you think in an all-star game, then you're going to score that many points because mm -hmm. there's no defense. But as you see right here, Essence Carson was like, not on my watch. Right. She's been terrific, the free agent. 13-year WNBA veteran. 10 of her 13 years, she's made the postseason. She's just a winner. I had a conversation with her former coach, Brian Agler, and he could not say enough positive things about how much Essence Carson was the glue when it came to the Sparks winning the WNBA title in 16. Kalani Brown, point blank at the rim. That's the complete opposite of what we saw yesterday. Cheryl Swoops is a person who not only is accomplished offensively, but is the only women in WNBA history to win Defensive Player of the Year three times. So I asked her to cobble together her all-defensive team so far. So who made your list and why, Cheryl? So Lexi Brown, just she's just tenacious on the defensive end. She gets her hand on everything. Even if it's not a steal, she always is just active and is able to get her hand on the ball. Izzy Harrison, Izzy is everywhere defensively in the paint. She can defend on the perimeter. Brianna Jackson, mm. I am a fan. And is one of those players that I didn't know much about coming into AU, but Brianna Jackson is a tough-nosed defender. Dejanae Carrington, Miss Defensive Player, Tasha Cloud. Mm. You can't have a good defensive team without Tasha Cloud. And my honorable mention goes to Mercedes Russell. I love it. All of those people have popped on the defensive side of the ball. Carrington with the take, right to beat the buzzer. Okay, I'll take it back. She's not tired. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's on a mission to prove to you. She's got hops. Jackson thought about the three. Resets, gets it inside to Brown, spinning and hitting. It's good basketball. I love how Jackson was just patient. She saw her big man, big woman, big player posting mm -hmm. up, and she understood the assignment and said, I got to go inside to my big girl. Ross answers with a beautiful finish at the rim as we seesaw back and forth here in this second quarter of play. Essence Carson pointing things out on the floor, trying to get people to be where they need to be. Back cut by Odyssey Sims. Jackson, a little bit of daylight. Triple teamed, somehow gets it up. Brown is there and will go to the free throw line. Kalani just happens to be at the right place at the right time when the shot goes up to be able to put herself in position for an offensive rebound. Kalani Brown had 15 points in the first quarter yesterday, 24 points by halftime. She is shooting coming into this game 81% from the floor. I mean, that's just impressive. A reminder, I want to tell you a little bit about the Unlimited Club. Joining the Unlimited Club will enable you to stay connected with Athletes Unlimited all year long. With four membership levels to choose from, starting at free, there's something for everyone. You can sign up today by downloading the Athletes Unlimited app available in the Google Play and Apple App Stores or go to auprosports.com for more information. So it is Team Sims in Blue with a one-point lead after the Brown free throws. Mimi Jackson, mid-range jumper, no. After seeing her hit so many threes already this week, four in the first game, three in the second, anything that's not a three from her is a surprise for me as Brown connects. Yeah, when she shoots anything other than the three, I'm saying, no, step back, right? But you know that, that last play offensively for Team Sims, you got Odyssey Sims and Kalani Brown, that old, Baylor Bears connection. Right. Nice job by Izzy Harrison. Harrison's got 10 points. Brown now has 13. Brown is starting to cook, Cheryl. Oh, she did a nice job on that last play of just slipping the screen and, and rolling to the basket. Team Sims up three. Walker, 4-3, no. Rebound to Brown. Harrigan gets it back to 
Sims, another one of those wicked lefty passes. Brooke Holder, mm. oh, leaves it short. And Carrington gets the rebound, making up for her defensive miscue, something we haven't seen so much this week. And it looks like it'll be a personal foul on Burke Holder. Sometimes on those layups like that, you're so wide open. We've seen that a couple of times yeah, this week. And you're not expected to be that open. You know, it's like someone's coming. Mm -hmm. So somewhere out the corner of your eye, you're looking for that defender to come. And in, in that case, Burke Holder just unfortunately didn't finish. Thanks to Kalani Brown with eight straight points for Team Sims. They have the lead by three. Personal foul whistled against Carrington. And it looks like they got her shooting, so she'll go to the free throw line. They got Drew Edelman for her first personal foul. Carrington rims out the first free throw. You'll notice in the graphic, her cause is Planned Parenthood of Greater Texas. Our 44 athletes here at Athletes Unlimited are playing for 26 different charities and causes in total. And part of their bonus money at the end of the five weeks will help the cause of their choice. Well, every, every single player out here, as Essence Carson knocks down that pull-up, every mm. single player out here will tell you how important it is for them that they're able to make a difference in their community. And being able to be a part of Athletes Unlimited and have a charity is, is part of the reason why a lot of these players decided to play in the game. Odyssey Sims not happy with that turnover. We're back after this. a great feature here at Athletes Unlimited. A player on each team agreeing to be mic'd up for us, taking us on the floor and inside the game. Love to hear from Dijon A. Carrington whenever we can. Loose ball foul turns the ball over to Team Sims. Our women on the seams courtside is Key Michael, and she's got somebody with her that's all about feel good, look good clothing designer JT. That's right, John Thomas, you are a designer for some of these players. That is so cool. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. What kind of stuff do you do? Uh, it's mainly streetwear. Um, I've been doing a lot of varsity jackets lately. I did some denim work. Uh, I've done some dresses. It's kind of all over the place, um, but it's, it's always for women in sports or you know people trying to uh, help build a women's game. So that's kind of the, the niche that I'm in. And I don't, that's where I want to be. And these girls are so swagged out. I've seen a couple of photos of their walk-ups. They look so yeah, good. They look dope. They Since look you're dope. the fashionista here, how do you think, what do you think of my hair? I love hair it. Color? It's the, the, perfect, yeah? the perfect touch. I'm going to keep asking people about it. It matches, the, that. it matches the AU theme too. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm purple and blue. I'm going to change it over for the next game. I love it. But my question for you is, do you do extra tall? Because I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna need to get a little bit swaggier <laughs> if I'm gonna continue to be in the basketball game. Absolutely, absolutely, I'd be honored to. I did get, I got hooked up with this merch today, which yeah, I don't know, it looks good, right? The, the white, it's, so it's an dope. upgrade from yep. yesterday. Yep, absolutely. But okay, if you have any suggestions for me, I will take them. We'll get to working on it for sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for being on the vlog. Yeah, absolutely. And enjoy the match. Me. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right, Key, thanks so much. Key, we both need to get a little bit more swaggier. I know, right? <laughs> Don't even share. I saw you today. You look on point. And I know Cindy's got those shoes. <laughs> Jontel Lavender cashing in. I tell you what, Key, the way you bring it with the braids, I am epically impressed. 
I mean, I'm just trying to keep up with you guys. I'm stop, just trying to keep up stop. with you guys. <laughs> no, and right? when somebody says he designs for basketball players, you don't have to ask if he makes things for tall people. Just so I you know. know. <laughs> that was, I just, I always have to ask because, you know, it's limited. You know, limited supply for these legs. There we go. Absolutely <laughs> love it. Thank you, Key. <laughs> Back so to the action. We've got a two-point game. Carrington in the lane. <laughs> splash. Yeah, Carrington's heating up a little bit ever since I made that comment. I do apologize to you. You, ma'am. I know. A little bit of a scoring drought has ended, and now we are tied at 37 with that Carrington bucket. We are going to step aside. We're tied at 37 apiece. For every three-pointer made during this year's Athletes Unlimited basketball season, Aspiration is planting 10 trees. Stay tuned throughout the season to see how many trees will be planted thanks to Aspiration's support. We have seen three balls fly like nobody's business. Team Mitchell and Gold last night came through with a league-high 13 triples on the way to its first win so far this week. And we will see Team Mitchell in game two of our doubleheader. A little under three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Oh, I saw you pull back, Cheryl. What would you see? I mean, it was just a little double dribble. Okay, but, just but a, a little one. Just a, a tiny one, but I saw it. Okay. But the double dribble was caused because of the defense that Team Carrington was playing. They started to pick up the pressure a little bit more and making Team Sims do some things they don't necessarily want to do. Thanks so much for watching. Let's Talk Vegas. There isn't a better destination city to compete in. Excellent entertainment. Supporting hashtag AU Hoops. Natasha Cloud off on the triple try. That is true. Las Vegas is becoming a destination for sports, and I think that's a big part of the reason why Athletes Unlimited is here, creating its women's pro basketball only space here at Athletes Unlimited Arena. Something amazing to see for sure. We are tied at 37 with two minutes to go here in the second quarter. A little bit of a deadlock. Rifle pass from Cloud, corner three, no, as Mimi Jackson was off the mark. And so Team Sims in blue with an opportunity to take the lead on this possession. Odyssey, triple, splash. <laughs> it just oh. looks so easy off her hands. Yeah, you kind of said splash before it even went in. It just was so online. You Carrington, saw that one. yeah, Carrington driving. No, battle for the loose ball. Ty Young jumps on it and it squirts out. Odyssey Sims almost loses her footing, gets it to Carson who misses. Cloud is there for the rebound. Carrington waits for Carson to go by. Front rim, no. And Carson seems to be okay after running into her own bench. The free agent is a specimen athletically. You see her in the advertisement that we run for Athletes Unlimited. She looks like she just left Rutgers, right? I, I don't know. You know, there's a fountain of youth and there's a fountain of Essence Cars. Right? I think she's sleeping in a hyperbaric <laughs> chamber myself. She just, she, she just looks really good. That's a great view from Key Michael with her unique camera setup that she uses for her personal vlogs. It's a look that you will only see here at Athletes Unlimited. It's not in the WNBA, it's not in the NBA, but it's right here with Athletes Unlimited. Loose ball goes out of bounds and turns back over to Team Sims with an opportunity now to add to its three-point lead with under a minute to go here in the second quarter. We're looking at Team Sims' bench as Burke Holder is ready to throw the ball in bounds. Pokey Chapman, the team's facilitator, helping direct traffic. New player in for Team Sims is Grace Hunter. The facilitator role is so interesting in this format as they are here for the macro and not the micro to help players who are captains that aren't normally captains. Yeah, and every team and every facilitator is different based off of what that captain 
wants their facilitator to do. And I know I was talking to, to Pokey last night and I said to her, I watched her. And as a coach, who, which is what Pokey is, it's got to be hard for you to not have that control in moments where you feel like you should call a timeout or run something different. But the facilitators have done an incredible job for the captains. Yeah, we saw Key's camera there showing a Burkholder getting taped up. Carrington answers, and the lead is three with 15 seconds to go here in the second quarter for Team Sims in blue. Shot clock is off. Odyssey's got the rock. Yeah, two-man game with Sims and Brown. And Brown will earn a trip to the free throw line. And Lavender would like an explanation as to why, <laughs> it appears. Taking a look at both facilitators, Shelly Patterson, the freshly minted assistant coach with the Washington Mystics, and Pokey Chapman joining Seattle Storm as an assistant coach, as well on Noel Quinn's staff. And we have had a lot of WNBA personnel in the house here at Athletes Unlimited this week, our inaugural week of professional women's basketball play. Well, and this is game three, mm -hmm. day three. Day three, game five. So game five, you're right, thank mm -hmm. you. You got it. But you can, I can tell Pokey, it's starting to come out. <laughs> it's like, no, I can't just sit here anymore. It's good if it goes, and it does not. Rims out, so Team Sims will take a lead into halftime, 44 to 39, as Team Sims in blue looks to get off the slide and into the win column for the first time this week. Team Sims has won back-to-back -back quarters, so that's 100 points. And check out the dish from Cloud to Carrington. Oh, so short. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, home of Athletes Unlimited Basketball. If you want to join in on the conversation to see how the team shape out in the weekly draft, join us every Sunday throughout the season on Facebook and YouTube at 3 o'clock Eastern, noon Pacific. Follow us at AU Pro Sports and let us know who your number one draft pick would be. Here at the half, it is Team Sims on top 44 to 39. We welcome you up to the press box and we want to say hello, everybody. We hope you are enjoying the hoop as much as we are alongside the legend. She is Cheryl Swoops. <laughs> I am Cindy Brunson, and we are so very glad to have you along the way. It was Team Sims winning back-to-back -back quarters with the lead at the half, but this is the last iteration we'll see of Team Sims because of the draft that's coming up Sunday. We will have whole new teams coming up this week. What are you looking forward to in the draft? It's just going to be so interesting. I'm, I'm honestly curious to see, first of all, who the captains will be. Right. Because the captain is the one that gets to draft. Yep. And will Izzy Harrison be a captain? Will she be the first overall draft pick again? Yeah. I think there's so many questions in the air when you start thinking about the draft and who could be number one and who the captains could be. I'm just anxious to see how these games will finish to see who those captains will be. And if you weren't with us yesterday, shame on you. Glad you're here. Cheryl, you brought up a great point that folks aren't just drafting skill, they're drafting character. Well, yeah, and I think that's one of the most important things that captains look for. Mm -hmm. You know, when it's a tough game, can they count on you? When things aren't going your way, what's your body language like? Are you a good teammate? And not only is that important here, yes. that's important in any league that you decide that you might want to try and play in. Amen. Let's take a look at what they're saying on social media. Jantel Lavender, if you haven't tuned in, you're missing out. I woke up this morning thinking about our game, genuine competition, and we're all having so much fun playing with people we'd never play with. Taj Cole, you talk about somebody lighting it up like a Christmas tree. We're literally on the court hooping while going at the other team. Then I'm smacking fives with the other team mid-game. The character in this league is unmatched. I second that, amen. We've got the second half coming your way as Team Sims has dominated the first half of play. We're back after this.
Welcome back to Athletes Unlimited. Coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. We have hit halftime here at Athletes Unlimited Arena where Team Sims has won back-to-back -back quarters. We'd like to bring in a special guest now. She scored nine points in the first quarter of play for Team Sims. It is Kiki Harrigan. And nothing like getting photobombed by your captain, Odyssey <laughs> Sims, going behind her. Kiki, I know this feels like a must-win situation. What has went right for Team Sims here in the first half? Um, we've been sharing the ball a lot, uh, just bringing a lot more energy, sharing the ball and, you know, putting everybody in a great position to score. So, Kiki, I have a question that has nothing to do with basketball. <laughs> what has been the biggest challenge for you being a new mom and an athlete? Um... I would say the biggest uh, part with me in terms of coming back for basketball was my conditioning. That was the hardest part. Mm. Um, I feel like I'm doing a great job of getting that back, getting back in the flow of that. Um, and I mean, it's been great. I'm enjoying being a mom. And how much has this format helped you in that conditioning path? I mean, it's helped me a lot. Uh, you know, just being able to be home and play in front of, you know, my kid and mm -hmm. my, my family and that different type of stuff. Uh, it's been great. Um, in terms of catering to uh, moms and that different type of stuff, uh, Athletes Unlimited has been doing a tremendous job with that. Well, that is awesome. Keep filling it up. Good luck and good health in the second half. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. We've got second half action coming your way. Do stick and stay. Welcome back to Athletes Unlimited Arena, a facility built specifically for this professional women's basketball league. It is Team Sims with its largest lead of the day, up 44 to 39 at the half. Well, here's one reason why Carrington has 14 points in the first half. Gentile Lavender comes over to set the screen, a rescreen. Carrington does a great job of reading the defense. She goes back, nice reverse layup, which you have to do when Kalani Brown comes over to help so you don't get it blocked. Here you have a nice two-man game with the Baylor connection, Odyssey Sims and Kalani Brown. Horn set, Odyssey comes off the screen. Kalani does a nice job of rolling. Dejanae Carrington, you are a little too late, mama. <laughs> Part of the reason why Brown has a 15 points to lead Team Sims. Odyssey Sims, the team captain with 10, and Team Sims in blue with the five-point lead. Mimi Jackson trying to change that, but off on the three ball, so it goes right back to Team Sims with an opportunity to add to its largest lead of the day. What's impressed you so much about Team Sims so far? I just think their, their, their toughness as Izzy comes out, one of my defensive players. <laughs> but I just think the toughness that Team Sims has played with today. You know, being down, you're not in the win column. You're trying to find a way to get the win. And they're going to compete. They were able to win the first two quarters. That's huge. Lavender off on the jumper. And here comes Odyssey directing traffic. Essence Carson. Kicking it out to Kiki Harrigan. Sims around Harrison. Gorgeous. <laughs> well, Izzy, you're on my defensive. My all defensive <laughs> team. That can't happen. Odyssey's, Odyssey's got a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice take. Odyssey, you know, lots of times, mismatches, post player comes out on a guard. Odyssey did the right thing by putting the ball on the floor and getting to the hole. Defense is your specialty, Cheryl. Nice block. Great closeout by Izzy. Kiki probably should have given her a little shot fake, put it on the floor, and gone around her and got to the hole. Harrison denied at the rim, but earns a trip to the free throw line for Team Carrington, trying to cut into this lead that has now grown to seven for Team Sims. A reminder, Athletes Unlimited Volleyball season two is back in Dallas at Fair Park Coliseum from March 16th through April 16th. Secure your tickets now. Prices start as low as 10 bucks. You can buy yours today at auprosports.com. Harrison gets them both, and so the lead is back to five for Team Sims in blue with the basketball. 
free agent, Essence Carson, bringing it over half court. The key for Team Sims this half will be, can they finish out the game? Essence Carson in and out. That ball did everything but fall. And Dijanae looks like she took a hand to the face and is down for a second. Natasha Cloud asking for a stoppage. As everybody gathers around, team captain Dijanae Carrington, AU Hoops head athletics trainer is Megan Lockerbie. Her team is on the scene. Oh, it looks like Dijanae took a finger to the eye from her holder. So we're gonna let the trainers do their thing and hope that Dijanae is okay. We're back after this. Welcome back to Athletes Unlimited Arena. Dijanae Carrington able to walk off under her own power being attended by the training staff on the sideline. Let's bring in our replay official, Tommy Maurer, because this play is under review. Tommy, what's the deal? Hi guys, during the, during the timeout, we were able to go to instant replay to rule on a, a potential hostile act. After further review, there is no hostile act. It, it, it was incidental. Uh, she did get poked in the eye, but there is no hostile act. Uh, so the, the, the call on the floor, or there was no call, but the play stands. All right, thanks so much for that, Tommy. It was nice to see that Carrington was able to walk off the floor under her own power. She seems to be doing okay. And she was alert enough to ask the officials because we can read lips. Why was that not a foul call? <laughs> so she seems to be in as good of spirits as she can be as team captain for Team Carrington. This might be a little bit of a momentum shift, Cheryl, because she is the leading scorer for Team Carrington with 14 points. Well, it, it could be a momentum shift for, for Team Sims, or it can be a momentum booster mm -hmm. for Team Carrington, as lots of times when stuff like that happens, your teammates look at that situation and say, oh, okay, you're not gonna give us that call? Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta go get some more buckets for our teammate. And then when you have players like Tasha Cloud, Jantel Lavender, Izzy Harrison, who are, again, vets on the team, this, this could possibly be one of those moments where the game does change. So it looks like the ball was inbounded before the shot clock was reset. So that's the adjustment underway here as Dijanae Carrington retires to the locker room for just a bit. We hope that it isn't a long stay for her. It's Destiny Walker, Mimi Jackson, Natasha Cloud, Jantel Lavender, and Isabel Harrison for Team Carrington in purple. Lavender, mid-range jumper is true. Nice shot fake. Great pace. She did speed up. Nice pull-up jumper from the free throw line. Erica DeFuture tweeting, love this league, having a blast watching it. Hashtag AU Hoops. Appreciate the social media love. Tell your friends we are here for five weeks and loving it. Baseline jumper in and out by Walker. Odyssey Sims. No. And here comes Team Carrington with an opportunity to tie the game. If it's a three or a three point play, down just three. Natasha Cloud with the take. And it's a one point game, showing us why she's averaging 18 and a half points per this week. You know, Tasha is one of those point guards that as the game goes on, she tends to find her shot and she gets more involved. But in the beginning of the game, it's all about getting her teammates looks and getting her teammates involved, which is what a true point guard does. Essence Carson comes up empty on that possession. So an opportunity for Team Carrington and Purple to take the lead. Harrison in the paint. That's, Ooh, that's pretty. Nice step back. That's pretty. <laughs> You notice how, how Tasha Cloud pointed at Izzy, because Izzy was not on the block, and she pointed and said, no, go on the block. She passed the ball into the post player, but instead of just standing there in that position, Tasha also relocated, giving Izzy opportunities for an outlet if she needs one. 
The lead is one for Team Carrington in purple. Somebody left Kalani Brown all alone, and she makes him pay. Yeah, you probably don't want to do that, especially on the low block. Kalani is tough on that block. So it was eight unanswered for Team Carrington to take the lead, broken up by that brown bucket. Nice take to the rack, and it looks like Destiny Walker will earn a trip to the free throw line. We'd like to take it downstairs to our women on the scene. She is Key Michael with Kiki Harrigan's mom. Hey, mama. Hey, yeah, I am on side with Michelle Sanford and baby Hi. Sanford. <laughs> so Tell me about what it's been like being here at Athletes Unlimited, supporting your daughter, bringing the whole fam in. Yeah, right after, you know, the little delivery. <laughs> it's been good. I've been enjoying the games, a very high level of competition, you know, and I've enjoyed the experience, great games. Yep. Yeah, and, and living the hotel life, you feel like you're an athlete, you feel like you're living that life. <laughs> Yes, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. You guys are originally from Florida. I know this because we were on the same flight together, and I remember I recognized you. But it's pretty cold down in Florida right now, so we're we're doing something right that we're here. Yeah. In Vegas yes, exactly. But it's just as cold here too. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm wearing my jacket. I'm wearing my. Merch. All the heat is at the games. All exactly. the heat is at the games. Right. Athletes Unlimited is bringing the heat. Yes, it is. It's a really fun. exciting tournament, though. I'm really yeah. enjoying seeing as all the As far as level of groups. volleyball, or sorry, volleyball, right. basketball, <laughs> how does this compare for what you're used to seeing? I mean, I mean, it's, it's a relatively high level of competition because I mean, we have all like WNBA players here and so forth. So it's a really good competition. Get them ready for the season. Yep. Yep. Hey, Key, can awesome. you can you tell Kiki's mom that I said thank you for everything she's doing to allow her daughter to continue to be a professional athlete? And pan down and give I us a better you. shot of Stanford the fourth. Oh, there we go. We just slept through the Cheryl, mm -hmm. would like you to know thank you for everything you're doing to oh. make it possible <laughs> for your daughter to play at this level because it is not. It, it, a lot of work goes in behind the scenes. We know, being a mom, you know. Yeah. I don't know yet, but one day. Being an athlete and a mom is. It's yes, tough. exactly. It's called for a lot of balance, a lot Next of balance, level. yep. And then you have to get yourself not only physically but mentally prepared yep. to get back out there, you know, shed a few pounds and get back out. All I know is I like to sleep and it's hard to sleep with babies, so I have so much respect for these women that are <laughs> exactly. moms and athletes. Exactly. You have well, to get them twice in the night to get bottles and stuff. Exactly. Yes. You, it's great that you're here for that. So, <laughs> thank you so much for being yes. sideline vlogging with me. On, yes, on I'm enjoying it tremendously. <laughs> All right, back to you guys. Thanks so much, Key. It is a 15 to four run for Team Carrington, fueled by back to back threes by Mimi Jackson. Somebody is starting to cook. And you knew it was just a matter of time before she found the bottom of that net. Izzy Harrison, elbow jumper looking gorgeous. And the lead is 56 to 50 for Team Carrington. I don't know if they took umbrage to the injury to their team captain, but Team Carrington is feeling it. Nice big three-pointer by Becca Juan Taylor. Big bucket. That cut the lead to three. That was a much needed bucket by Team Sims. Ty Young rims out and she does get the foul that she was hoping to get. The scoreboard is starting to light up like a Christmas tree. Big time three balls falling, thanks in large part to Mimi Jackson. You go with that triple splash. Hey, whoever comes over top, watch the curl. You might have to help. I mean, yeah, I hit her on accident. I mean, I didn't try to. I get.
Kirby Burkholder giving us an inside peek at what goes on from the bench and on the floor. It is something that we do here at Athletes Unlimited and it is so unique to get that behind the velvet rope perspective, a perspective I know you know like the back of your hand, Cheryl. Well, here's the cool thing is Fans, and us too, you actually get an opportunity to hear stuff that's going on in a timeout, in a huddle, that you normally don't get to hear. And right? you probably don't want to hear. <laughs> no, but some of it is really informative and interesting. Well, I'll tell you what I loved about that timeout and listening to Kirby Burkholder. I think Pokey went over and said, did you hit her in the eye? And she <laughs> said, yeah, I hit her. <laughs> like, it was an accident, but she I hit her. She owned it. She owned it. <laughs> Ty Young able to... String together a couple of free throw makes, and the lead is 58 to 53 for Team Carrington. The offense has been very effective as Team Carrington is playing without its captain. So I know, I know that was a turnover by Brianna Jackson because she's trying to get the ball into Kalani Brown. If she would have taken just a one or two more dribbles lower towards the baseline, she would have had a much better angle to feed the ball to Kalani. We are happy to report Dijanae Carrington has come out of the locker room, but she's got an ice pack on that eye. And we're gonna talk to her in just a moment, so don't go anywhere. Isabel Harrison, that mid-range jumper is so lush. <laughs> Is he? Live look at Dijanae Carrington from our interesting vantage point that Key Michael provides. Three pointer is true from Odyssey Sims. That was a bucket that was needed by the team in blue. And a foul call will have a free throw opportunity coming up for Marjorie Butler. Before that, let's send it down to Key Michael with Dijanae Carrington. Dijanae, what just happened? I got popped in my eye, that's what happened. Are you all right? I can't open one eye, so this is embarrassing, but my team is on a run and I love it, so I'm good. You know what's funny though? You guys are so athletic and so intense, but like best friends off court. That's what I, I love that I see it's the intensity. It's really weird, right? <laughs> But you're fine, right? Your eye's okay. I hope so. <laughs> you're Key. hot, right? Thank you. Key, ask Thank her you. if she still has that lash on, though. Uh, your <laughs> lashes are looking great, though. So I'm just going to tell you right now, lashes on point. Thank you. I take pride <laughs> in my lashes. I know well, you do. Thank you so much for coming on camera. I know it's embarrassing, but you know what? You look, you're crushing it, girl. Thank Nothing you. to be embarrassed of. <laughs> Go Thank Team you. Purple. Go Team Purple. Watch this round. We're going to close it out right here. Two minutes. I love Hi, it. Key, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Leave it to the Hall of Famer, Cheryl Swoops, to not be concerned so much about Dijanae's physical condition, but rather more impressed that the lash game is still tight. Cindy, listen, that's important. It is. Now, when we and play, it's very important to Dijanae. She slays and in all every the time. phase. Yes. She never takes a bad photo, none of that. But right? Listen, she but, didn't want to turn to the camera because the eye was puffy. I love her. Besides Tina Thompson wearing her red lipstick. Right? The lashes are, Yeah, but yes. like we didn't wear lashes like that. But yeah, yeah. nowadays, it's a thing. So yep. I asked that question for all of the hoopers out there yep, who wear yep. the lashes yep. and you wanted know. to know. You know. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Team Carrington has extended its lead now 62 to 56 with under two minutes to go in the third quarter of play. Kalani Edge. Brown in a double team. Hello. Listen, that wasn't the best of passes, but great hands by Kalani to catch that and finish. Okay, somebody's working hard down low, and we have a loose ball foul. Let's take another look at Brown. Listen, Kalani has two people in the paint. She had to battle to catch that. Not only did she catch it in traffic, she was able to finish. Tough. Yeah, KB. Now on the low block, ready to rebound as Destiny Walker gets a couple of free throws. She gets the first one to go. 
Hey fans, a reminder, it's time to earn points for watching tonight's broadcast. Take out your phone, enter the code on the screen into your Athletes Unlimited app to earn points. Check out the leaderboard standings, unlock rewards, compete against your fellow fans, and oh, so much more. Download the app in the Google Play or Apple App Store today. So Walker getting it done at the stripe as Team Carrington is up by six with its captain on the sideline, ice pack in hand. Great take by Sims and the finish. So now, now that Kalani Brown is out of the game, where does offense come from for Team Sims? Mm -hmm. Exactly that from Odyssey Sims. Nice job of reading the defense, attacking the paint, getting to the hole. Odyssey Sims and Taj Cole tied for the scoring lead so far coming into today's play, both averaging 22 and a half points a game. And Sims not only has the speed, but being left-handed mm -hmm. just makes her so lethal. Oh, nice finish at the rim by Burkholder. Miked up and hitting buckets. There's a live look at our leaderboard that continually changes throughout the game as every basketball move provides or takes points off the leaderboard. Loose ball goes out of bounds and will stay with Team Carrington. The lead down to two with under a minute to go here in the third quarter of play. Team Carrington look to stay undefeated. Team Sims trying to get in the win column to finish the week. And Team Carrington needs a timeout. That was called by the captain from the bench, Dijanae Carrington. What do you think the conversation is in that huddle for Team Carrington? Well, there are up, by, up right now by two points. I think right now they want to make sure they close out this quarter going into the fourth with the lead. Just taking care of the basketball. And Coach Carrington has become really good at drawing up plays out of a timeout. So I would look for her to run a play where she's going to try and get the ball to either Lavender or something going strong to the hole where they can either finish at the hole or get an and one. Right now, Team Carrington in position to win this quarter, win a quarter for the first time this game. Checking out social media, here's what they're saying. This AU Pro Sports League is so fun to watch. It's got me looking at flights and hotels in <laughs> Vegas. Come on out, Alana. <laughs> Joe Kelly says intensity increasing every trip down. That is a, the truth. AU Hoops is a blast. Amen to that. Nice. Thanks for participating with us, watching along, joining us here on FS2. Cheryl Swoop, Cindy Brunson with you. I can guarantee you we are having the time of our life and we would love for you to come hang with us in Vegas. Down low is Ty Young. And there's Ty. Gets the bucket to go. The lead is four. Shot clock and game clock almost identical as Team Carrington is trying to win a quarter for the first time today. Quarter victory so important because a player's biggest points boost comes from their team winning quarters and games. Burkholder rims off and a last shot opportunity for Team Carrington. Shot clock is off. Eight seconds to go, Team Carrington. Rise and fire. That's off the mark. And that is how the quarter will end. Team Carrington gets the victory in the quarter and has the lead going to quarter number four. 66-62 is the count. Woo, are you having fun yet? I know Odyssey Sims is. She's just a three ball waiting to land. Welcome back to beautiful Las Vegas, home to Athletes Unlimited for five weeks of pro women's basketball action. Team Carrington able to win a quarter for the first time today. For every three-pointer made during this year's Athletes Unlimited basketball season, Aspiration is planting 10 trees. Stay tuned throughout the season to how many to see how many trees will be planted thanks to Aspiration's incredible support. This week has been a great week to get to know players that we are familiar with better 
And to learn about players we did not know about, Cheryl Swoops, these are the folks on your radar. Why? Yeah, I think there are several players that I could have put on this list, but my, my top three, Taj Cole, hands down, when she came in this league, I had no idea who this player was. And from day one, she's just been lighting it up, not only offensively, but defensively, she's a headache. Lauren Manis has mm. completely gained my respect. Not only has she improved her three-point shooter and can light it up from distance, she is a tough-nosed defender. And last, but definitely not least, Little bit, Rihanna Jackson. <laughs> like her size, she may be little in size, but her heart is huge, her fight is huge. I will take her on my team any day. It'll be definitely interesting to see where Jackson lands in the draft on Sunday because the teams you see in front of you today are going to change depending on where they land in the draft. That's what makes this league so incredible. Shot clock winding down. Oh, no, Sims had to fire and it looked online, but it fell short. And you know, Cindy, to your point, when you talk about the draft, you know, there are definitely players that you can look at and say, these will probably be the top five, maybe mm -hmm. 10 scorers. But you also have to look at players, their, their attitudes, body language, character. And a player like a Brianna Jackson, for example, offensively, she can score, but she's not that player that has to have the ball in her hands to do make, make an impact on the game. Defensively, I would take her on my team all day. Right. Destiny Walker taking threes and making threes right now, making Team Carrington very happy. Cap happy rather team captain Dijanae Carrington still on the sidelines with that ice pack handy trying to protect that eye that for a while didn't even want to open her team has the lead by five 69 64 here in the fourth quarter of play Kara Ross working baseline, trying to shovel inside, and that's a turnover. Odyssey Sims is on the run, looking for teammates in blue. Pulls it back out and sets up the offense. Inside to Brown, double, double team. team, and earns a trip to the free throw can't, line. Can't do much with that. I, I love how Odyssey attacked and transitioned. She got all the way in the paint, but pulled it out and then allowed Kamani to run the floor and get nice deep post position, fed the big girl going to the free throw line. Just saw that sideline look right at the sideline with Team Carrington with our key Michael. She's got the mobile camera and is giving us different looks throughout the arena, especially with the teams and players themselves. Something you just won't see on any other broadcast, be it NBA or WNBA. It's nice to see that the eyes both are open now for DJ and <laughs> Carrington as she well. said one would not open. I know. The last game, absolutely <laughs> epic, as it should be for Slay DJ. Okay, lashes look good, sis. There's that view I'm talking about. Key Michael taking us right on the floor. Lavender unable to connect as Cloud is cheerleading and directing traffic from the sideline for her team. Sims lost her footing, basket no good, and here comes Team Carrington looking to add to its four-point lead behind the back to Ross. Unable to hit the jumper, but boy, that pass was pretty. Okay, Marjorie Butler. Mm-hmm. Mm. Odyssey Sims looking to reset and get a good play here. Her team winless so far this week, and Sims. No, you can't, you can't, you can't defend that like that. You mm. cannot go under a screen on Odyssey Sims. You have to fight over the screen. You have to body up with Odyssey Sims and stay in her grill. The lead is down to two. Destiny Walker double teamed for a bit. Takara Ross fighting for a position against Harrigan, who's been terrific defensively mm -hmm. today. Lavender off on the jumper. And I'm going to say she missed because she pulled her foot inside of the three-point arc. <laughs> Just take a step back. Nice the cut. cut. Sims <laughs> and one. Listen, so Kalani says not only can I post up and have my point guard feed me, I can post up and feed my point guard cut. Nice post up by Kalani. See, she took her time thinking that the double team is coming. Odyssey did not stand still at the top of the key. Nice cut. Patience, face up, cut, and one. 
Thank you very much. Absolutely gorgeous. Sims proving why she was one of the top two scorers coming into this game. She and Taj Cole averaging 22 and a half points a game so far in week one here in Athletes Unlimited play. She completes the three point play and for the first time in a while, it is Team Sims with the lead 70 to 69, seven minutes to go. Team Sims looking to get in the win column and collect those valuable win points for the first time this week. Ross on the deck beating Carson, but denied by Brown at the rim. And Carrington is back in the game. And there is Dijanae defending Sims in the lane. No, rebound to Lavender, and it's nice to see Dijanae back on the floor. Goodness gracious, Becca won. Taylor lay out. That's the type of player that you want on your team. Well, that says I played a lot of soccer and I'm okay diving. Okay, and I don't mind at all. Right? That, that almost looked like a soccer play. Now, I'm not a soccer expert, but that well, almost looked like a soccer except play. Except you can't use your hands, but yeah, I feel you. Because they dive for everything. And the slide. <laughs> feels like my slip and slide oh, back no. in the day when she I was did. a kid. <laughs> That was a nice, In fact, nice hustle play. I know, a little bit of the floor took off some of her oh, arms, so she's getting attended by our elite training staff, led by head trainer Megan Lockerbie. So she's back on the floor, ready for more, as are we with under seven minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. One point lead for Team Sims in blue. Natasha Cloud trying to get a shot up against 6'7", Kalani Brown. Oh, she just drew that foul. Mm. She just drew that foul. That's a smart play by Tasha Cloud. So Natasha Cloud steps to the free throw line. First one is true. Fans, be sure and join us here at Athletes Unlimited Arena right here in Las Vegas. Don't miss your chance to see all of the action live and in person. Limited tickets are still available at auprosports.com backslash tickets. Both free throws good for Cloud. She has been automatic all week long. As a result, Team Carrington has the one point lead with just over six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter of play. Essence Carson trying to get something going for Team Sims. Burkholder with a little daylight, mm. terrific take. Mm. Okay, Kirby, we see you sliding and finishing. No weak side defense help. And I take it your three-time defensive player of the year mind is not happy with that from not Team Carrington? Not at all. Well, you can't, you can't be so tight on your man that when someone starts driving, you're not there in help side. The call is a charge against Team Carrington. Will they argue the call? It Beckham. goes against Cloud, Burkholder. And because Natasha Cloud was charged, she just lost 16 points on the leaderboard because that's a negative play. You're right, and that could be a huge loss from Natasha Cloud when yeah. you start looking at the leaderboard. Taking a look at our live leaderboard, the numbers are constantly changing. When we started today's doubleheader, Cloud was ahead of everybody with more than 1,000 points total. Nice. Odyssey Sims to movement. Carson for three. No. I thought Sims was going to fire. I did too, but great ball movement. One point game, five and a half minutes to go. Team Sims looking for its first win of the week. Team Carrington trying to complete the week undefeated. Loose ball goes out of bounds, and it will stay with Team Carrington. 13 seconds on the shot clock. The Hall of Famer Cheryl Swoop, Cindy Brunson with you. Carrington thought about the three, tried to get it inside to Harrison. Ball winds up with Cloud, but the shot clock expired. That is a shot clock violation, and if you weren't sure, Rebecca Juan Taylor was telling you exactly by <laughs> patting her head. Look at the bun. I'm tapping right above my bun. Listen, and, and Rebecca Wan may not be doing that much offensively, but defensively, she has made a huge difference in this game. Oh, she is stuffing the stat sheet for sure. 
Izzy Harrison is tall, but she's not that tall. And a turnover will give the ball back to Team Sims, looking to get back on the right side of this leaderboard and get a win. Come on back. Athletes Unlimited Basketball on FS2 is sponsored by Aspiration. Do you want all of the new AU Hoops gear? Be sure to check out all of the new Athletes Unlimited merchandise, including jerseys, tees, hats, and oh so much more. Go to shop.auprosports.com and purchase your gear today. And if you're here at the arena with us, the swag station is elite. You want to stop by and gear up for sure. At this juncture, Cheryl Swoops and I would like to give a shout out to a couple of people. Sherry Kempf, Holly Scott, thank you for this opportunity. This first week has been unbelievable. And for me personally, Eric Rue, our media relations manager, thank goodness you are on planet Earth. I would have never been able to make it through week one without you. So just sending some flowers mm -hmm. to so many key people that have made this possible for us to bring you the first week of Athletes Unlimited. Yeah, and without me getting emotional, just to, to have an opportunity to continue to be a part of women's basketball in, in some form or fashion. I, I can't thank Sherry enough. I can't thank Holly enough. Mm -hmm. I can't thank Eileen Hauser enough Look, for when, even thinking about me. When Eileen Hauser called me and said I could work with you, I thought I was getting punked. Cindy, don't do I thought like I was that. punked. I was just <laughs> like, no. I put the phone down. I'm like, uh-huh, you're funny, you're funny. Because I, you know, I, it's a dream come true. And I, this has been amazing. I am honored. And I know we're giving everyone else their flowers. Mm -hmm. I have to take this opportunity to give you yours. Because as an African-American woman myself, it is an extreme honor and pleasure to have an opportunity to work alongside another African-American woman Aww. in your position being the first. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? You're for, to represent a league, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Don't primary, know why. Primary play-by-play -play voice, yeah. Here so in again, the year of our Lord 2022. There's so many things that Athletes Unlimited has done, and that being one. Thank so you. So thank you, Sherry, again, for giving us this opportunity. Whew, all right, you make me cry my eyelashes off. I'll have to check in with Dijanae and get some more, man. <laughs> Woo! Back to the action on the floor. We are tied at 72 points apiece with four minutes to go. Team Sims trying to get its first win this week. Team Carrington trying to complete the week undefeated. With the shot clock winding down, it is Mama Kiki. Hello. I know she does not like that song, but Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> There we go. Listen. Bring me that church voice, Cheryl. Kiki. Bring it to me. <laughs> Kiki came to play today. And so did Natasha Cloud, but she leaves it short. She wanted a foul call, didn't get it. Kirby Burkholder somehow ran it down, but ran out of real estate as well. It is time to check in with our woman on the scene. She is Key Michael. Key, take it away. I'm down here with Brianna Jackson. First of all, this match is incredible. I keep saying match. What I mean to say is this game. How's it, how's it feel down this here? This game is super intense. You know we want to win. You know Purple want to win. They got two on their belt, so you know they're trying to go for the three. But we came to play today. I'm really happy with the effort we get. Yes. Talk to me about your tattoos. Oh, man. Once I got my first one, I just fell in love. I got all kind of tattoos all over my body for all different meanings. But, you know, I kind of addicted to the game. Yeah, I love that. Well, you guys might get your first win right now. What, what is that going to feel like, your first Athletes Unlimited win? A release. We come out here, we playing hard. We battled last night and the, and the game on Wednesday. We just looking for some couple plays to go our way so we can finish the game and get the win. And talk to me about playing three games in a row. I know that feeling as an athlete. They really push us hard here, but are you recovered? How are your legs? Like, I'm, are you I'm actually dealing with some left knee swelling, but it's all a part of the game. You got to take care of your body and make sure you're recovered and ready to go. They're, they take care of you well here. So awesome. We'll head back out there. All right, thank you. And uh, thanks for joining us. All right, thanks so much, Key. Appreciate that. It was a little 5-0 run for Team Carrington, a big triple by Mimi Jackson, and then another two by Dijanae Carrington. 
and a loose ball foul against Team Sims as Team Carrington will have an opportunity to add to its two-point lead. And Sydney, this is usually where Team Sims, they fall apart a little bit, mm. right? Will this be the day they find a way to stay together and pull out a win? Yeah, they had the lead for most of the game yesterday, and then the fourth quarter against Team Mitchell in gold, they just couldn't hang on. Harrison gets the roll. The free throwing in this week, the first week of play has been outstanding. Everybody finishing with about 80% at, of the free throw totals made. Harrison looking to add to her total on the day. Repping the University of Tennessee, Tennessee and NC State with the most players of the 44 involved in Athletes Unlimited. The second professional women's basketball league right here in the good old U.S. of A. A reminder coming up next, game two in our doubleheader. It'll be Team Mitchell against Team Russell. We'll see how Team Russell's legs are after playing in that double overtime loss to Team Carrington yesterday. Kalani Brown in traffic leaves it short. And with under two minutes to go, it is Team Carrington with a four-point lead and the basketball. What do you want to see from Team Carrington here, Cheryl? Poise and patience. And, and I thought the game yesterday, they got away from doing that. But poise and patience, when you can attack, like Natasha Cloud just did, then you take it, you attack, you either score or you get to the free throw line. And to your point, we have a trip to the free throw line here as Kalani Brown is whistled for her third personable, personal rather, and it will be Natasha Cloud who's averaging 18 and a half points a game so far in this league. And atop the leaderboard at the start of day's play, gets the first free throw to go. The lead is five for Team Carrington. We saw this in overtime yesterday, Cheryl, when it counted the most in that double overtime, the second five minutes, Team Carrington just decided, you know what, we gotta get this W and we're gonna play that way. Yeah, and again, if people don't think that the players are taking this league seriously, just go back and watch the game yesterday and see how hard they played in double overtime. 100%. Team Sims take a timeout to regroup. We will step aside and be right back. A wonderful day here in Las Vegas. A terrific view of Circa near the Strip. That action's okay. This action inside of Athletes Unlimited Arena is oh so much better. Team Sims won the first two quarters. Team Carrington answered in quarter number three and would love to finish here in quarter number four where Team Carrington is leading 15 to 13 by our points leaderboard and also leading on the scoreboard 81 to 75. So what do you think the conversation was after that timeout by Team Sims? Well, it's still just a two possession game. So they don't have to get in a hurry, but you can't run too much clock. The thing I would look at is if you can go into Kalani and get an easy two, I'd take it. And if you have a wide open three, then you take the three. Shot clock was winding down and Carson had to put it up. Shot was partially blocked. So another terrific defensive set for the team in purple, Team Carrington. Natasha Cloud slowing it down, milking some clock. Eight seconds on the shot clock, under a minute to go here in the final quarter of play. Lavender for three. Splash! Ooh, that that might have been felt a dagger. like a dagger yeah. indeed. I agree, Cheryl. The lead, 84 to 75, 35 seconds to go. And you know what? Jantel kept her toe behind the line that time. <laughs> she heard you last time, Cindy. Ooh. Carson, triple. You betcha. Yeah, Team Sim, they need to pick up. Yes. Like you have to pick up. You can't allow Team Carrington just to walk just to walk the ball up. They're doing that. Shot clock and game clock almost identical. And surprisingly, Team Sims is not gonna foul. And so it looks like Team Carrington will win back-to-back -back quarters and win the game as well. Dijanae blocked at the rim. 
And that is how this one will end as Team Carrington comes back and gets the victory. 84 to 78, winning both the third and fourth quarter for a precious 100 points and then another big point total for sweeping the week. It looks like our referees have decided to add 1.6 seconds on the clock. So Team Sims might have another opportunity to at least pick up some personal points with a made bucket. But right now, the point totals stand like this. 100 points for winnings quarter one and two for Team Sims. 50 points so far for Team Carrington. And unless there is a seven point shot that I'm not aware of, <laughs> Team Carrington is going to win the second 50 points in the second half for 100 total and then get a win total on top of that and sweep the week. What has impressed you most about Team Carrington this week, Cheryl? You know, even though we talk a lot about Team Carrington having a lot of WNBA vets on the team, they still have not played with each other. The fact that they were able to come together in such a short period of time and play so well together and hard together and just play as a team and be able to walk out of here 3-0, and that's, that's pretty impressive. And Captain Carrington did a nice job in the draft. She has been fantastic today. She started out slow and then really got it cooking. Yeah, ever since I called her out and said she might be tired, she was just <laughs> like, oh, no, ma'am, I'm not. I mean, she did it all. Nice crossover, one-handed left hand. Finish to the hole, shooting threes, penetrating, pulling up, defending. Dijanae Carrington. 16 points, six rebounds, and 150 AU points tonight. Got swiped in the eye, and the eyelash game <laughs> stayed true. It has been a good day for Dijon A. Carrington, for sure. Listen, if for, for no other reason than the fact that the lash stayed on, she's my MVP. Right? <laughs> Terrific energy from Team Carrington. Our woman on the scene is Key Michael. You're looking at a view from her camera right now. That is the kind of access our woman on the scene, Key Michael, gets. It is visuals <laughs> that you don't get in the NBA or the WNBA, but you will get them with us here at Athletes Unlimited. Team Carrington cruising to another victory. They will finish the week a perfect 3-0. and oh. And if you have fallen in love with everybody in Team Purple, build a bridge and get over <laughs> yourself because Sunday's draft is going to wreck all of this oh, and we're yeah. going to start anew. Oh, so yeah. who do you think? We know Isabel Harrison was the first overall pick in the initial draft. Mm -hmm. So who do you think will be that person in week number two come Sunday. Oh, man, it's just so much talent in this league. I know, right? So I think it depends on who the captain is. If okay. Natasha Cloud is not a captain, then I say she's the first overall pick. Okay. If she's the captain, right. I, I don't know. I don't know. Right? Definitely looking forward to Sunday's draft to find out. But right now, it is Team Carrington celebrating an undefeated run in the first week of Athletes Unlimited professional women's basketball play. They run the table, a perfect 3-0, and winning the first game with relative ease, winning game two in double overtime, scoring 110 points along the way. And today, easing into the victory lane, scoring under 90 points for the first time this week, winding up with 84, winning 84 to 78. Right now, the teams will step aside and talk about MVP points, 90 awarded to MVP1, 60 awarded to MVP2, and 30 awarded to MVP3. And don't forget to tune in Sunday when we will have the draft for week number two. That happens on YouTube and Facebook at noon, at noon Eastern and, no, three Eastern. No, noon Eastern. Noon Eastern. Noon Eastern. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Appreciate you. Not only can you fill it up, you can provide assists as well. Woo! Your impressions from that I game. Think that's right. I mean, Team Carrington just just came through. I, I thought Team Sims battled. I thought they looked good. They fought hard. They had an opportunity to win it. But at the end, Team Carrington was just too much. All right.
The draft will take place. Again, it is 3 Eastern. We have confirmed noon Pacific. That's why I had noon on my brain, because we are in the Pacific time zone. You want to tune in to that draft on YouTube or Facebook. And the MVP boy is going on li live, and we're taking a look at the leaderboard. Natasha Cloud still in that pole position with 1,241 points. We are getting set for game two of our doubleheader. You don't want to miss that. On behalf of our producer, Eric Swearingen, and director, Steve Turnberger, and our entire crew, thank you so much for watching AU Hoops with us. For the Hall of Famer, Cheryl Swoops, sideline vibe tracker, Key Michael, I am Cindy Brunson. Thanks so much for tuning in. We look forward to talking to you in game two, if not then. For sure, down the road, Athletes Unlimited Pro Hoops is here to stay.